Brimstone Beach Club. It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. It's full of dirty dishes. Chicken Franks, chock full of processed beaks and waddles. It's coconut cooking oil. He's a member of the bustling Plunder Island workforce. Yes, may I help you? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Threepwood? You must be seersucker Skip Rackham's cousin. How are Muffy and the twins? Uh, who? Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swapper size glass at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Why? You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgy, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea, and it was terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. Hi. Yes? Hand me a towel, young man. Those towels are for club members only. How about a towel? I know the secret handshake. Ever since Thurston the Hook Eddington joined last year, the whole secret handshake thing just got kind of messy. We don't have one anymore. But of course, all members know that. It's me, Biff, from the polo team. My pony's about to give birth. Quick, boil some water and get me lots and lots of towels. Not buying it, Mr. Mangy Pirate. The only way you can have a towel is if you are a member of the club. Uh, please, can I have a towel? The only way you can have a towel is if you are a member of the club. Uh, let me have some of that cooking oil. That oil is only for French frying. It stays right here. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm French. Toss that baby right over here. You don't sound French, and you don't look French. And you don't know how much you're getting on my nerves. Onion ring emergency. Give me all the oil you've got. Sorry. As long as I'm in charge here, you'll get no handouts. Please pass the cooking oil. No can do. I'm not authorized to hand out cooking supplies to anyone. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then, there's the credit check, references, family history, the oral presentation, and the written test. Mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball you. What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other members. I'm sure you understand. Gotta be going. Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My card. Let me see that. Oh, no! In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership. Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! I must. And perhaps I'll sunbathe nude. Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Uh, 
Oh, Cabana Boy. Yes. It's quite hot. Put your towel and mop my brow, would you? Can I have another look at that card of yours? Uh, actually, the towels are right here. I'll just help myself. Mm, no. It's full of dirty towels. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. The towels are all wet now. Nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy, deep-fried food. Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. That would hurt. With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. He's incredibly pale. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido. Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. Someone on this island with some manners. And my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. I don't think you understand. I'm a mighty pirate. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the magic word. Take this drink away and bring me another. Now! Wow, you're pale. Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since April. I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe, I'm not the tannest cat around, but as you can see, I'm working on it. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. My complexion is a little on the light side, I'll give you that. But soon I'll be a bronzed god. You've got the savage pale. Please, babe. You say any more, I will become very self-conscious. Hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish. Okay, babe? You're so pale, you make snow look tan. Be quiet now. If I bleached chalk, it wouldn't be as pale as you. All right. All right. Yes. I'm very pale. Thank you. There. You've hurt me deeply, and you know I mean it. Are you happy? Huh? Babe, are you happy? Are you happy now? Yes. I hate you. Get me a drink. Would you like to join my crew? Oh, no, babe. I'm not a sailor. I make my living off the hard work and talent of others. You're a project leader on a computer game? No, no. I'm a high-powered talent agent. Major stars. We're talking major stars here. Are you sure you won't join my crew? Don't talk to me about work, babe. I'm tanning. I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. Are you sure you don't know how to get to Blood Island? I told you before, babe. I've never heard of Blood Island. See you around.
How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy! My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. Is the lemonade good? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding, the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. What's the lemonade good for? Drinking. Oh. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. Hey! There's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy. And there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. Look! A three-headed monkey! Oh boy, oh boy! Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. Ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheap. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. I don't need it anymore. It's full of dye now. I've brought you a new mug. Here's your drink, sir. Look, Palido, you're burning. Ah, all those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am Big Bone. Uh-oh, quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. Avast there, you lovers! Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army!
army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It will be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffering sailors, tis good to be dead! <laughs>